<laughs> now for something completely different. Um, next up, we're going to have some monotone one-liners from Chris Hudson. <laughs> Woo! Come on. Give it up for all the comedians you've seen so far. Who's body armor? Body armor? Keep it going for Rachel Mack. The dog even did it. So I have a few jokes for you all. Oh, not supposed to take that out. All right. One-liner comedians don't, they don't move. So I can't, I gotta put that back. Sorry about that. Apologies. Apologies. Uh, people say, don't put your eggs in different baskets. Uh, no, they say, don't put your eggs in the same basket. That's what I meant. They say, don't put your eggs in the same basket. All your eggs. Don't put all your eggs in the same basket. And I say, go ahead, put your eggs in different baskets. See how easy it is to carry those eggs. I want to thank whoever got so mad at potatoes that they mashed them for the first time. <laughs> That's how mashed potatoes were invented, I believe. I don't want to brag, but I do have my own personal chef. He goes by the name Boyardee. <laughs> he does some great things with pasta and meatballs. The meatballs, honestly, a little chemically, but I think that's because of my palate. I think it's because of my palate. I don't think you could do Larry the Cable Guy these days. I don't think you could do Larry the Cable Guy. I think these days you would have to do Larry the 17 different streaming services guy. <laughs> cable doesn't exist. Got a DNA test done recently. Got the results back. Turns out I have a lot of DNA. People tell me I have my dad's eyes. That's true. I have my dad's eyes. But I also have my mom's mustache. <laughs> She's a good lady. Uh, my mustache is a topic of debate among my friends. Some of them love it. Some of them hate it and want me to get rid of it. My problem is if I get rid of my mustache, I look like a lost 13-year-old boy on the side of a milk carton. And if I keep my mustache, I look like the man that took the lost 13-year-old boy <laughs> on the side of a milk carton. It's a dilemma. And it's Chekhov's mustache. My dad, my dad actually taught me everything I know about auto repair. So anytime one of my friend's cars breaks down, I know how to yell at them so they hold the flashlight steady. <laughs> mm. He wasn't a bad guy, my dad. He wasn't an alcoholic, but he was a shopaholic, which I think is worse. Have y'all ever been hit with a bag of deals? <laughs> it hurts because he was able to afford a lot more stuff. <laughs> shopaholic, people don't talk about that enough. My grandfather, speaking of family, my grandfather, he could drink me under the table. It was very embarrassing. My whole life, even through my 20s, he could drink me under the table. I don't know about y'all, but I think using an IV is cheating. <laughs> he was cheating. He told me once, uh, he gave me, you know how sometimes uh, grandparents, they'll pull you close to give you life secrets and lessons and things about their lives. He pulled me close one time before he died and he said, don't tell anyone I smoke around this oxygen tank. <laughs> hmm. He had an oxygen tank. The first time I saw his oxygen tank, I knocked on it and said, you know you can get oxygen for free. <laughs> you don't have to pay for it. I used to get bullied growing up. 
I know that's surprising, I used to get bullied. Uh, one of my bullies called me a tool, a tool. And I said, oh wow, I'm an instrument that helps people get tasks done? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> he got mad at me, said, do you wanna take this outside? And I said, it's a gorgeous day, I'd love to go outside. <laughs> Just made a matter. Just made a, I lost the popularity contest in high school, I'll tell you that. I did. But I won enough popularity electoral votes that I became popular anyway. <laughs> Smart crowd. Smart crowd. Mm hmm I brought nothing to a knife fight. I was not informed that I would be part of a knife fight. Was not prepared at all for a knife fight. Some people have a message, a message for their haters. I'm sure you've heard this, a message for their haters. I don't just have a message for my haters. I wrote them a whole entire book. I don't wanna spoil it, but by the end, we're all friends. Mm. Yeah, I build bridges. I build bridges. We're in a bar. Give it up for your bartender. I was at a bar not too long ago. I overheard an exchange. A man ordered an apple teeny, and then the bartender made the drink, gave it to him, and the man looked upset at the apple teeny. The bartender said, what's the matter? The man said, I thought this would be a tiny apple. Apple teeny. I said smart crowd too soon. <laughs> I'm a comedian, this is, uh, we're, d jokes, we're doing jokes. Okay, <clears throat> we're doing jokes. 69ing is a popular uh, sex move. Maybe not popular, but it exists. 69ing, uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm more of a fan of 96ing. Uh, that is where you had a fight with your partner, so you sleep back to back. It's 96ing. Yes. Okay. I, uh, like I said, I, I used to get bullied a lot growing up. I also am from Baltimore, uh, Maryland. I uh, used to get, thank you, thank you. It's not doing good. Uh, <laughs> I used to get robbed a lot in Baltimore. I got robbed so much, uh, and, and I love thrifting, so it was insulting because I usually had to end up uh, buying my own clothes back from Goodwill. <laughs> they didn't want them. They didn't want them. Some people say we're living in a simulation. I say, oh, if we're living in a simulation, can we restart the simulation? I feel like I picked the wrong items, and also I need to remake my character. Not a lot of gamers, <laughs> that is okay. Some people say, uh, as a the throwaway line, they say, and all that jazz, not understanding how much jazz they're actually implying. <laughs> There's a lot of jazz. New jazz being made every day. There's a thing called free jazz. People love to make a joke when you go into a record store, free jazz, but that you still have to pay for it. It's a genre, okay. One-liner comedians are not supposed to riff. Um, <laughs> my friend, she has a, she got a new tattoo on her wrist, and it scares a lot of my other friends. It's a scary tattoo right on her wrist. Uh, so I started referring to her wrist as a terror wrist. <laughs> scary. I don't want to apologize for that last joke because I do like my apologies like I like my coffee. Cold, and by the time I get it, I don't even want it anymore. <laughs> A lot of people say, hey, I'm not that bad once you get to know me. That's true about me. I am not that bad once you get to know me. I'm worse <laughs> than whatever you initially, okay. <clears throat> Have a few quick very quick impressions. Thank you, one fan of impressions. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. When a comedian announces the next bit, if there's one person who is a fan, that means the comedian usually shouldn't do the bit. <laughs> 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 
but I have a few minutes left. All right. Uh, <laughs> first impression. <clears throat> Read them and weep. Uh, that is a card dealer giving you a book that he thinks is sad. <clears throat> Second impression. This motherfucker spitting. That is the first person who ever saw a cobra. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Third impression. You do you. That is someone explaining masturbation to someone. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, a lot of people uh, talk about how they got their heart stolen by someone. Oh, they stole my heart. Well, I don't know if you knew this, but if you steal someone's heart, legally, a police officer has to put you under cardiac arrest. <laughs> legally. Although ACAB. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I only have a few more, <clears throat> thankfully. Uh, <laughs> all right. They say uh, when one door closes, another door opens. I say, when one door closes, I would check the handle. It might not be locked. It's, might not, it might be unlocked. Yeah, OK. <clears throat> you know, I love to regularly thank the big guy upstairs, you know? You know who I'm talking about? The big guy upstairs. His name is Antonio. He's my landlord. <laughs> I have to buy him a sandwich or he gets mad at me. <clears throat> All right. Don't make the same mistake I did, and that is listen to someone who said, don't same, make the same mistake I did. You guys are correct about that one. <laughs> did the math in my head, it didn't quite add up. All right, I have one last joke for y'all. One last joke. Give it up for everybody you've seen. We have another comic. Kristen has, Kristen has done a great job putting this show together. Yes, give it up for Kristen. I hope I didn't let her down by promising to do this. I don't think I did. She has children. Um, <laughs> it's hard to let parents down. Uh, okay, final joke. They say, follow your dreams. So I did, and that is how I ended up in my old high school, naked, taking a test I didn't study for while my crush <laughs> laughed at me. Yeah. I've been Chris Hudson, thank you. That was Chris Hudson! <laughs> Woo!